Okay, welcome to World of Warships, and here we go in the Dershki. Um, well, as you can see, the matchmaking is actually pretty good. It's uh, tier two, tier three, so uh, it's almost a almost a seal clubbing uh, seal clubbing match here. And uh, anyway, we're on the big race map, and that's got Destroyer Alley on it. So that's immediately where I'm hitted, since that's where I'm that's the side of the map I'm starting on. I really like taking the Dershke into Destroyer Alley for a couple of reasons. Uh, looking around here to see what's on my left, a Stor uh is there, so I'm got, I've got some backup. Uh, there's another Destroyer a little bit further behind me. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, I like taking the Dershke to just Torp Alley here on Big Race for a couple of reasons. First off, the gunnery on the ship is pretty good. It fires fairly quickly, hits fairly hard. Uh, it's fairly accurate, so it's uh, it's a good it's a good little gunboat. And then the second reason, of course, is the torpedoes. They only have a range of three kilometers, so you've got to be up close and personal when you put a spread out. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, let's get up and close up close and personal with some enemy, enemy destroyers. So anyway. Uh, Moving up here, we're just about in sight, and I think we're going to start running into some bad guys here in just a moment. So let's uh, let's see what we can see here. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Come on. Just in any second now. So so anyway, I've got a stu the Sturage Voy is off, to my, is off behind me to my left, and I'm hoping he does not just fire Torps randomly. Uh, but, okay, I've got an enemy destroyer just on the other side of this island, so let's go ahead and start turning about now. Yeah, there we go. Let's start turning. And he's just out of range. Okay, there we go. He's in range now. I get some good hits. Can't tell what it is. Again, my I, with the video editing software I'm using here isn't working. Now, there goes the Stureza boy. And I had not noticed him until I started clicking to put the torpedoes out. And I probably would have been responsible for his death if... You know, the enemy ship there had not, well, you know, had not <laughs> put his own torpedoes out and gotten the kill. So anyway, uh, there's my first kill. And so I just turn, I'm dodging fire and torps and everything else. And I use the, uh, use the island here or the, well, the mainland, maybe that's what it is, as a, uh, as a break. So, because that gets me to... T to dead stop in a second here. So anyway, I'm in my smoke screen. There's a battleship out there, South Carolina, that's spotted. But okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's open up on this destroy enemy destroyer here. Put some rounds over there towards it. I'm not sure if I'm getting a hit or not. So no, okay. So as I'm trying to get some speed back up in the forward, put some shots, long shots downrange at the battleship, and there's an enemy destroyer right there. Where did he come from? So all right, let's uh, let's put a. Get ready to put some torps out, because this guy's going to start turning here, so it's going to look like I'm spamming torps in random directions. So, so three behind him, and then two shots way out in front of him, because he's going to be turning and gaining some speed, and I wanted to get the torps out before. And uh, actually, I did a too good a job of leading him, because you can see only one torp, torp came around and hit him, but that's okay. Uh, I'm at point-blank range. He's not pointed the right way. Very, very easy to dodge those. And then put a couple of extra shots out in distance. And oh, oh crap! Here comes some torpedoes. But where did when did he fire those? When did he fire those? I'm gonna take a hit. No, I'm gonna dodge. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Okay. And there's another destroyer. Where did he come from? All right. So that's all right. That's all right. Just just keep firing torps out. Get the guns to bear. Yeah. There we go. I don't know. Oh, do, am I gonna get a torp hit or not? Nope. No torp hit. All right. That's all right. And then, oh, oh, hi, uh, sorry about that, I'm just trying to, whoa, okay, wait, why the, there's another, dis okay, who keeps spawning all these, tw <laughs> I'm sitting here in the game thinking that every time I turn around and look at, and look at a different direction, there's an enemy destroyer, and, uh, fortunately, uh, I think this is a Clemson, uh, fortunately, uh, he's pretty low on health, and I put a shot out, takes his engine, um, and oh no, Samson? I can't tell. Hard to tell. But anyway, he put some torpedoes out at me. I'm I'm trying to dodge and weave a little bit, uh, but uh, yeah. So anyway, get just keep putting 
putting out, yeah, keep putting shots into him, and I eventually get take him down as well. I get that friendly cruiser behind me, and he's he's kind of beat up, but uh, uh, he's trying to run from that South Carolina that's back there. So turn around and sitting here thinking, all right, uh, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Uh, well, you know, the only thing I can do right now is maybe put some shots out at this South Carolina at range. Uh, range shots in South Carolina. You know, I'm not going to do a lot of damage, but if I can set him on fire, make him use his repair ability, uh, that would certainly give us, you know, a little bit of advantage. So some shots out, some more shots out, some more shots out. Uh, I'm actually getting good hits here, uh, and he fires at me. So as soon as he does, I go ahead and turn, and that's when I spot. And I think that's a, uh, I think that's a walkie-talkie uh, out there. And, uh, not sure. Tachibana? Okay, yeah, hard to tell again. But anyway, Japanese destroyer, he comes around the corner. You know, I, I've definitely got him beat when it comes to gunnery. So, you know, let's go ahead and not close the range too much because I need to make sure that I don't eat any of his torps. But uh, this is actually the perfect range because he's not going to be able to shoot at me very effectively. And actually, it turns out he's not. He's trying to work over that friendly cru cruiser, is it? Or a friendly battle? I can't remember. Whatever that is that's 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 nearby. He's going to put uh, torps out on, the, on that guy while I'm putting just a uh, shot into him. And yeah, the friendly, the friendly over there is about to die. So I'm going to put a couple of, couple of torps out. But that's it. I mean, it looks like I'm just spamming torps when I do that, and that's basically what I'm doing, but I'm also actually, you know, making sure I aim. So, uh, anyway, did he get torps off? Yes, he did. Let's go ahead and turn. Killed some speed. Okay, good. So, there's a South Carolina and, I believe, a Kawachi on the other side of that island. Yeah, there's a South Carolina, and he's actually hitting in this direction. So, this is like perfect ambush opportunity for a Dursky. Uh, hidden behind an island, enemies driving into your torpedo range. So I'm thinking, alright, let's see if I can... Can I turn around here? Uh, nope. Turns out. So, bam. Run into the beach. Okay. No problem. Let's just We'll just put it in reverse and try to pick up on uh, whichever enemy is moving in this direction. So, uh, I've got the South Carolina, but it turns out that, that Kawachi that's on the other side there, is actually inside my torp range right now. I don't need to wait for him. And it took me, it took me to hit the target designation button a couple of times before I could actually get him lit. So anyway, backing up here, and he's still within range. Number three, click range. And ready, let's send a wide spread, narrow spread, narrow spread, narrow spread. Okay, they're all out. Uh, pop the smoke and start just easing forward again. We can go ahead and shoot, though, fairly safely. He's outside of our detection range, and here in a second, yeah, he's going to realize just exactly what happens when you come around a corner like that, because, yep, just fed him everything. So, here comes South Carolina. Is the same thing going to happen to him? Well, he's right at the edge of my torp range, but if you look at the mini-map, turns out he's actually sailing slightly away from me. So uh, I'm not. I, I might get a hit here. I'm not. Uh, I'm not likely to. I knew when I launched him that it was going to be kind of iffy. And if, as you watch here, he's got to be sweating right now because he's seeing all these torps coming at him and they just fizzle out. So he knows I'm over here. He just doesn't know where I am over here, except for the fact I'm putting uh, shots out. And you know, don't forget, I've got a 20 second reload. Uh, 22 second reload on my torps. So all I need to do is back off and let's go ahead and aim. And I should have put them a little further to the left. But as it was, uh, not a bad spread. So he sees he sees more of them coming, so he's like, ah oh, crap. And he's dodging and I don't think I get any hits. Oh no, I get one hit. Like I said, a little further to the left would have worked. But uh, at this point, he's, you know, he's just lined straight up. So that's pretty much about it. And this is going to be a nice, easy finish to the game. And here we go.
So, and so uh, with that, <laughs> let's take a quick look at the post game stats. 1800 base experience, seven kills, not too shabby. Uh, it's gonna add up, and you can see what everybody else on the team did. The uh, destroyers that had backing me up on the west side, just well, I did. They did what they could, but like I said, so. Uh, 27,000 damage in HE hits, almost 60,000 damage from torpedo hits. Not a lot of flooding damage because I tended to knock them down fairly quickly. Um, then, uh, let's see, yeah, here we go. And then a victory, 3,600 uh, for the times two event, 180,000 credits. And, you know, high caliber, uh, the, the Confederate, uh, devastating strike, so, uh, and a Kraken unleashed, of course. So overall, uh, overall, pretty good. Pretty good results. So, um, anyway, that's what it's like driving the Dursky. Never a dull moment. And, uh, well, with that, uh, talk to you later. Bye.